Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we are going to study about direct memory access. That is also known as DMA. Right? Now, if you know that all the processes in computer are performed using CPU, right? CPU that is central processing unit process each and every micro instructions, right? That means any of the operation that can't be possible without CPU. Now, if we consider input output device, right? So we are having this input output devices. Here I'm having CPU. And here I'm having my memory. Now, if we want to transfer a data between input output device and a memory, so first of all, input output device will contact with CPU. It will transfer the data to the CPU, right? And then CPU will transfer that data to memory. That means this will take one cycle. For example, if it is take one cycle to transfer from input output device to CPU, then the another cycle would be from CPU to memory, right? So ultimately to transfer a data between input output device and a memory, I need total two cycles. This is just for a reference example, that is two cycle, right? So if we involve the CPU for input output operation, it will take a lot of time, right? Why? Because one more thing we need to keep in mind that CPU is a fast memory, right? CPU uh, process faster, but each and every input output devices are too slow to execute its operation, right? So, as you know that input output devices are slow, it cannot match with the CPU speed, right? CPU is performing its own thing uh, with a uh, like more efficient way, right? Taking less cycles, but input output devices are slow in a manner, right? So, so it is difficult for input output device to cope up with CPU. So ultimately CPU need to wait, right? CPU need to wait. So there, there is a problem that if CPU takes a lot of time, so it will consume more time and efficiency of your processor will decrease, right? So here is an idea that we are having a dedicated controller to perform the input output operation right directly that means what instead of going through this we want to directly communicate from this right so what is a basic idea that input output device will directly communicate with this memory without the interference of cpu right and at the same time, the CPU can perform another task, right? So one dedicated controller is needed for performing the input-output operation. And at the same time, CPU can perform another task, right? So there's come DMA, that is direct memory access, right? So DMA, what is the definition? So DMA is a method that allows an input-output device to send or receive that means communication either it can send or receive data directly to or from the main memory right and what we are bypassing we are bypassing the cpu right bypassing the cpu to speed up the memory operation right and at the same time while this dma through this process input output devices communicating with the memory at the same time cpu is free and here it can perform another dedicated task right now how it will be done this is a concept how we can uh, implement this concept so for implementation of this concept this entire process is managed by a chip that is known as DMA controller, right? DMAC, that is DMA controller, right? Now, how it will be done? So, first of all, DMA will receive the four parameters. Which parameters it will receive? So, first one, that is a source address. 
source address means what from where uh, the data to be transferred then destination address that means you can say target address to where i need to transfer the data right from and to that is source and destination address then next is byte count how many number of bytes how many bytes i want to transfer the data right and the fourth that is mode of operation whether it can be read operation or write operation so what i want to do whether i want to read or i want to write so that operation read or write operation so basically this dma controller will receive this four data source address destination address byte count and read and write now we'll see the block diagram of this so this is a general block diagram right what we are having over here that is main memory unit here i am having cpu here i am having input output processor this is connected through the memory bus right and here i am having pd pd that means peripheral devices right so pd that is peripheral devices connected with my input output processor right so this is general block diagram so dma controller will be here right we are having the dma controller over here right so how it will be done so i am having this diagram this is my cpu this is my dma controller here i am having disk controller here i am having my main memory right and all of this are connected through the bus that means data can be transferred between all of this using the bus right here in a disk controller my drive is there drive is there and here i am having a buffer buffer for storing the data right here i am having some registers right what are this register this one register is used for the source address right one is used for the destination address then other one is for the count right a number of bytes how many bytes i want to transfer and then this is for the mode whether it is a read mode or write mode right so this is a general idea now how it will work so here if we don't consider dma controller so basically we are having this if we don't consider so we are having cpu cpu uh, disk controller and a memory without dma controller right then each and every transfer may takes place using cpu only input output processor will contact the cpu and from cpu it will connect to the memory unit transfer the data but here i am having my dma controller in the picture right so now how it will work so first step the very first step it is a, a cpu controller Uh, sorry cpu central processing unit program my dma controller that means first step goes here right my cpu programs the uh, dma controller by setting its register now what it will set it will set the source register destination register then number of counts and the mode this four register is set by the cpu so dma controller know what to transfer where to transfer right from where to get the source data and how many number of bytes it, uh, it need to transfer and whether it need to do a uh, read operation or write operation right so in a first uh, task cpu will program my dma controller along with this it also issue a command to the disk controller telling it to read the data and store the data in the buffer right whether i need to do the read operation or write operation at the both the time we need the data right so it will uh, tell the disk controller to read the data and store it in a buffer right and when there is a data in a buffer then and only then dma can proceed further if we are not having a valid data in a buffer dma cannot proceed further right so when there is a valid data in a buffer then only dma can begin right now what will be the second step in the second step this dma controller request to transfer of memory right second step this dma controller request to the disk controller 
to transfer the data to the memory right and this request looks like a normal request so this disk controller is doesn't know whether it comes from the dma controller or whether it come from the cpu right it's just a normal request right so this controller is not aware that whether this things coming from dma controller or a cpu right so what will be the second step this in a second step uh this dma controller requests the disk controller to transfer the data to the memory right now in the third step this data is transferred right after getting the request from the dma controller this controller will transfer the data to the memory right now once the data has been transferred right for example write is completed right then this this controller send the acknowledgement to the dma controller the fourth step after the transmission is done the data is transferred properly then uh, this controller will send the acknowledgement data to the dma controller right using this bus all the transfer is done using bus only right and after receiving this acknowledgement data what a uh, dma controller will do it will increment the address right with uh, the source address it will increment the address and it will decrement the count it will decrement the count why because suppose i'm having uh, 15 bytes to uh, transfer the data then after transferring one it will decrement the count and again this entire process will be done for the second byte right so one by one all the data will be transferred and each and every time this dma controller check for the count right if your count is not equal to 0 if your count is not equal to 0 it will continue with this process and as soon as your count become 0 then it will terminate this process and gives all the request it will uh, acknowledge the cpu that all the transfer has been done right but this acknowledgement is done when and only when then count is equal to 0 right if my count is equal to 0 then dma controller sends a uh, sends a message to cpu that transfer has been done right and then cpu will till now uh, till that uh, cpu will processing its own work right and this dma will processing its own work so here entire transfer is done without he the help of cpu cpu is not in the picture only right it's just the first step that it will gives a command right setting the bits uh, setting the register in dma controller and tell the disk controller to read the data and after that all the processes between dma controller disk controller and memory itself right and during that time of period when this process is done cpu will do some another work another work dedicated to it right and after completion of this this transfer is done cpu get not uh, get notified via interrupt right it will get notified that this task has been done right clear so i hope you all understand this uh, direct memory concept of direct memory access in